Hi, everyone. So yesterday or the day before, I don't really remember, I shared my experience about how I felt like I was in different universes and I could just go from one to the other. And I had no idea what that was. But for those of you that know me or really a little bit, I did some research and I looked it up. And it's what Jody Spence, I would say, I know because I looked it up. So I looked it up and I came across the work of Bert um, Goldman. I have to, I have to <laughs> look at my paper, Bert Goldman. And I think that what an amazing find again, how the universe is just guiding me and showing me where to go to get, it's like, it, it's so interesting. And one of the things that I really like about him is the idea that he says, so he teaches about quantum jumping. What is a new, it's new for me. I think I heard about it, but I dismissed it. I dismiss a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's like, okay, it's who I am until I need it. So, um, so I listened to his uh, lessons and he says, okay, let's say it doesn't really exist, the quantum jumping, and you don't have another uh, another ego, another you somewhere in another universe or another dimension. But if it helps in your daily life, so what? And that's exactly what non-duality is all about. And I always am amazed how it comes back to me all the time. Learning more, reading more, searching more, it doesn't bring you closer. I even think it is counterproductive because it's just another story. And so once you realize who you really are, you know that all the stories are written already. I said that my whole life, every story is written already. And now I realize what that really meant. Every story is written. Every life is lived. Whatever was, is, and whatever is, is all there is. And it's an interesting concept. So if you start when I start listening to other teachers and they say non-duality teachers, I already have like a teacher. You can't teach anybody to realize their true nature. There is no such a thing. <laughs> so when people try to teach you, that is not going to work. Not in the normal way that we understand teachings because if there is a teaching that means that there is something to look for and something to learn which there isn't okay how can i talk about that i think that uh, sailor bob is really good at this he says there is nothing there is nothing i'm going to tell you nothing going to teach you he said that every time he speaks he said, i'm not going to teach you anything and that is so true and i in the beginning i heard i'm not going to teach you anything i'm like i'm listening to you you're talking i'm i'm learning so you are teaching because i'm learning but it is not true there is no teaching there is just a pointing a trying to explain what's going on it is just an unfolding of your consciousness, like whatever. This is how it goes for me. Like I'm thinking I have experiences and now looking back, I can see it. I have experiences and then the evidence or the teaching showed up. Like when they say when the student is ready, the teacher appears. That's what it means. You make the discovery, the unraveling, the, the unfolding comes first. And then it looks as if you see the teachings everywhere because now you're ready. So it's the other way around. Like 
when you make the aha moment, when you have the aha moment, that's when the knowledge, which is no knowledge, but that's when it shows up. Because you are in that vibration and then we're in an ocean of motion, then we attract who we are, what we are. So it's like a lot of times the other way around. It's like different, like we think we study something and then we see it and it. I tr almost think it's the other way. We see it and then it shows up in our life if that makes sense, because there is nothing to learn. Everything's there already. You know it all. All the, you have so many, and now from Bert Goldman, I learned about all my alter egos, doppelganger, which is so cool because that's exactly how I felt. Like I really have memories of previous lifetimes and again, they're only stories. They're not even real. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's all in our head. It's all in our imagination. And not even, because that doesn't exist either. And so we are on such an, such an interesting journey. Life is so beautiful. Having this experience in the 3D world is really something else. And it really is all a reflection. Whatever we see in our surroundings is just a reflection of what's going on inside us, inside of us. And we see it because we have it, like they say, that everything's manifested twice, once in somebody's mind, and then in reality, in the 3D reality. That's the world that we chose to come to and to have like an earthly life, which is a very interesting phenomena. And I, I really enjoy watching the unfolding when you come from a place that you understand that you created and that you have an influence you can pick and choose what you want once you're at peace with that and you don't go against it you don't fight it and you allow it that's when real life starts that's when the joy and the happiness comes that doesn't mean that everything's rosy all the time but it means that you understand it and that, it, that understanding takes the anxiety away. Like there's so many people living in so much anxiety. That's the, the number one thing I hear all the time. People say, oh, they, I'm so anxious. I have so many anxiety attacks. And I had that too for a long time. And I had no idea where that came from. But thank God, like... I'm very blessed that I understand that it is just a story, that it is just my body acting up because it doesn't get what it wants. It's so, um, it's cool. Like it's cool to know that it's only a story. The anxiety is a story. The bliss is a story. But if I can choose between the life of bliss and the life of, of anxiety, why would I choose for the life of anxiety if I can have a life of bliss? If it's both a story and it's both not real and I am the creator of my reality, why not create what's fun and, and, and pleasant and joyful and happy? Isn't that what, it's, what life is all about? All right, I'm going to let you guys think about that for a while. And again, as always, please let me know what you think. Thank you so much for all your positive feedback. I enjoy that a lot because that makes me want to share more. Um, I enjoy connecting with like-minded minded people and they're multiplying in my surroundings. So I'm very grateful for that. I'm like very grateful for all the people that are coming into my reality, my story. And I am very thankful that you want to be part of my story. So have a wonderful day, you guys. See you next time.